a quick audio check. One more quick check. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Doing more of our Stardew Valley. So last week we are going into our last week of summer. I wish I could like stream for longer, but like right now I need to work on the average. Cause like I honestly would like to do like two games a day, like two hours of each or something. I think that'd be the like ideal. Oh yeah, then I got crops down here. That was it. I'm gonna have to rearrange these by the time next season comes. I botched the setup. <laughs> Rip. Like, right now I'm playing Animal Crossing off stream again, which I haven't touched in eight months. Because now that the last update is out, like, I feel like there's so much more to do. Because, like, the main reason why I stopped playing back in, like, February this year was because, like, there's nothing else to do. But now I can, like, do stuff. So, I think what we were focusing on was just getting our enough supplies for sprinklers. Let's actually see what we have. Yeah, we needed more gold bars and then fine quartz. That's what we needed. So I think what we need to do is probably go mining. Yeah, I think that's what we were focusing on. Actually, was there like a weekly mission? He wants a melon. Yeah, so you probably can focus on mining. We're actually, we kind of need money right now, so let's probably just fish. I think we said we were going to fish the rest of the season. Alright, let's just go mining today. <laughs> I went to say, I need to like take notes of what I was doing the previous week. I think that's what I need to start doing. Willie's birthday tomorrow. Maru. 
I think we'll go mining today and then the rest of the season probably just fish. That way we can get into money to buy crops for fall. Because I know summer and fall are like the biggest like farming seasons. Already at level 95, cool. Oh yeah, and then I wanted to upgrade the pickaxe. Which you need gold for anyway. Surprisingly, you have a lot of coal. I think we had like 63 in our inventory. We got plenty. I love the music in the mines. So cool. I just realized I have like these little like trinkets on my dresser and it's in the exact spot where it blocks my energy bar. <laughs> I'll have to fix that in a second. I wonder what's the spawn rate for the prismatic slimes. I've only maybe seen like three my whole time playing. Mind you, I have way too many hours between all the different saves I have this game.
Finally. Oh, I think we, last week, I think we had to respawn here. I think that's what happened, because I remember doing this last week. I hate this, like, style of level, the mind, the spiral. I think tomorrow we can probably oh we don't have enough money for the gold pickaxe that's right I think that's what we're gonna do I guess we we must have like finished the level would not have it like escaped in time oh I think that is what happened because I probably didn't go down I think it just warped that's unfortunate Okay, I don't- I haven't unlocked this yet. I thought I did for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll focus on fishing for the rest of the week. Because we got enough supplies for sure for all the sprinklers.
Okay, so I think we got everything ready for tomorrow. Yeah, we just need more quartz. Let's just work on clearing these out for the rest of the night. I left my axe in the storage shed. Rip. Mm, you got some goodies here. Get ready for tomorrow. Honestly, crows don't bother me too much. Cause like, I can't figure out the stupid scarecrow stuff. I also don't like how like, the scarecrows look. <laughs> and I'll get some... Oh, I need maple syrup. Huh? Okay. Let's get a few of those planted. I kinda wanna put the orchard up here. I'm just gonna randomly place them, see how they grow, and then once I actually have money to buy, like, your trees, I'm gonna put them on top here.
Okay, let's get to fishing. I kind of want to go ocean fishing because I got to go buy more bait anyway. I think I only have like 40 left. Okay, so I'm going to sell what I have for now, and then we're going to go to forest, because for like the specialty fish or like specialty foods, I usually try and buy them from the little traveling merchant, because that is like, I'd rather pay like a few extra hundred coins than like wait to unlock. the desert area. Of course, they're not there. I need to remember to bring my axe next time so I can work on the hidden forest. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so I think tomorrow, make sure we have our axe and then clear out the forest area. And the rest of the day fishing, I think we'll do tomorrow. Oh, we got it. That one is difficult. Ooh! Love that. I've only gotten a few of those Dorados. That was a bummer. I think if I hadn't gone for the treasure, I would have gotten it. A lot of low level fish, surprisingly. I wonder if you get different, like, star levels based on how much you fished in the area. Because I usually don't fish in this part of the river. Or maybe just RNG is bad today. Break. Not fair. Ooh, two gems.
I usually don't listen to the game with headsets on. Like, it sounds like there's like a slight hum of like flies buzzing. And it irks me. Because, like, I don't mind bugs. Like, if I see it and it's on me, like, I don't care. Like, you know when you feel one crawling, you're like, ah. Oh. Yeah, peppers don't give a lot of energy. That's fine, though. You need to make tappers. Oh, wooden copper bars. I can probably get a few tappers on some of the trees over there. I'm not gonna grow it out for a bit. First, I need coal. Okay, so let's get some tappers going. Please. Cut those started. Oh, there's three more. Huh. There we go. We got chubs, Dorado in there, the pikes. 
up with these trouts. Two breams. Sunfish. Okay. Like I said before, I like to have at least um what you call it? Two of each fish that way when I get pawns. Allow fish ready to put them in. Gonna need more gold too soon. Fortunate. How many do we even have left? Do we have enough for pickaxe upgrade, which we will need soon? George wants a hot pepper. Yes, sir. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford the pickaxe. I think it's best just to save our money for seeds. Because I always make the mistake of um, upgrading my tools in the final days, because it takes three days, right? And then. But sometimes when you try and like set up your fields, there's gonna be like debris. So if you have your tools in the shop at the start of the season, you might not always get to unclear your fields properly at the start of the season. Oh, they're not here today either. Badge. Oh, there is a fern. Okay, thank goodness.
Does the fiddlehead ferns only spawn during summer in the secret woods? Which I had to look up a walkthrough for, or like on the wiki for, for my initial playthrough, because like I could not figure out where to get it. And I remember my first time playing, that was like the one thing I needed for the comm center. And at that point, like, summer had already passed in year two. So I was like, frick. We're not gonna fish here. I know the wood skip spawns there. But, like, I just feel like it's a waste of time if I'm just gonna get trash. Putting the trash. I wish there were a way to like select how many like like peppers you want to eat. Just the visual of like just shoving ten in your mouth <laughs> is great. Me trying to lean up higher so I can see my energy bar.
Okay, we need both of those. Honestly, that wall basket kind of ugly.
I forgot the coal. <laughs> Always forget, man. How much energy do the hops go? Oh, quite a bit. Okay. We got everything. So we should have at least 10 grand by tomorrow, so we'll have enough for seeds for fall. E Probably just fishing the rest of the season. That way, right when the season starts, we can go upgrade the pickaxe. It's so hard to see the blueberries in the field. Like the colors are too close to the vines. We're out of gold, but we for sure have enough gold bars for our sprinklers. Because I'm not going to set those up till first day of the season because I messed up the grid. I don't want to go for lake fishing today because I've gotten all the. I'm rain fish for the season, I believe. Oh, come on, <laughs> missed. Trying to go too fast. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put everything. Like, I'm not used to this garden or farm setup.
Wait, did Chubb spawn in both rivers and lakes? I was doing river fishing yesterday and I got Chubbs. Perfect, let's go. A rare W. Ooh. I don't need the dagger, let's be honest. Who even uses daggers? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hold. Oh, come on. So close. Let's go. Oh, just another sturgeon? Badge. Another sturgeon, perhaps? Ah, we couldn't save it, we couldn't save it. Wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> kind of dumb how the tackle breaks over time, too. Like, I was so excited when I first played. Like, get the iridium rod and finally put tackles on him. And I was legit, like, so pissed when my first tackle broke. Like, I don't even bother crafting them because they don't last long enough to, like, justify, in my opinion, like, wasting the resources on it.
I don't understand the people who say that they like thunderstorms. Like, I don't get it. Because, like, it's not that they scare me. I remember when I was little, because we had a pet rabbit. Like, any time there was, like, any type of windstorm or, like, heavy rainstorm. Because, like, kind of like dogs, their, their hearing is really sensitive. Like, he would freak out. Like, he'd run around his cage. Like, he'd dash back and forth. Because it's scary, right? For them, because their hearing is, like, let's say, like, two to five times as intense for them. But, like, I just hate storms now because all I can think about is, like, the after effects of the storm. Like, i.e., like, power outages or, like, trees going down. Because I go for morning bike rides and there was a pretty gnarly windstorm about two months ago. There was, like, a fat-ass tree blocking, like, the entrance to the trail for, like, a solid week. And it's, like... Do my tax dollars not go towards paying the parks and rec department? I mean, like, the tree was, like, over the path in the way to where you could, like, crawl under it. Like, I'd crawl under it and then, like, toss my bike over it. Because, like, I still gotta get my miles in, right? <laughs> but... And, like, we had some pretty gnarly, like, windstorms this past week. And, like, the power was blipping it out, which, like, I don't mind. But it's just, like, when I was working in food, like, power going out is, like, the worst thing. Because, like, one, your tills are broken. Like, you can't ring people up. And then, like, your equipment, like, all your fridges and shit, you're not supposed to open them. So it's, like, I think if your power is out for more than an hour... I think you have to call the health department. That way there's a record of like um improper food storage, right? Like there was one time I think it was earlier this year when we had the snowstorms. Cause we had like a snow snowstorm in February. Like it was bad. Like the power was out for like eighteen hours, I think. So, like, we basically had to throw all the food away. And, like, it feels bad, right? Because, um, I think fridge, fridge items can be, like, out of temp for two hours. And then, um, freezer goods can be out of temp for two days. Because, um, because, like, it'll still be frozen if you keep it sealed. Like, it won't totally defrost within two days, right? So, like, we had to throw all the stuff in the fridge away. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, because, like, you don't want to serve people, like, bad food, but it's still, like... It's like, ah... Because, like, that specific place or restaurant was in, like... Kind of, like, the major shopping district. Because it was near, like, a grocery store. Like, the grocery store was a lot of power, because that makes sense. Because, like, if that goes out, then... Like, where everyone would get food would be screwed, right? But it was maybe, like, $1,800 worth of food products? Like, I can't imagine living in, like, a place where power going out is a common occurrence. Like, it is in, like, most of their second or third world countries. That's just hard for me to, like conceive because like we're so used to having like resources readily available like two or three months ago there was a evacuation notice in our town because there was a fire so um like we got our go bags right and got in the car and then megan being like the, the smart one actually listening to like like, our emergency plan, like, I got my go bag, I got our first aid kit, like, my dad prepped the car, my mom and my sister were, like, fucking around, <laughs> like, doing other shit, and it's like, dude, they tell you to leave, leave, right? Like, in my go bag had clothes, like, some snackies. But, like, we realized that, yeah, having a go bag is good, but then you can also just, like, 
pop by your local Walmart and like buy shit if you need it because like they have everything there like everything is readily available which is nice but it's still like hard to conceive that not everyone has that luxury I never go for the trains because like by the time I get to the train station it's already gone and it pisses me off. Like the only like thing I've gotten from the trains is like coal and stone, which is cool, but like Ugh, Frank, not enough to like justify dropping what I'm doing and running to the station. Like I wonder if the trains are scheduled? Question mark? Me talking about storms in an evacuation notice makes it seem like I live in like a shithole. I don't. It's a pretty good area that I live in. I mean, we are in a Lahar zone because you know Matt Rainier, but you know that's fine. That's Ite. She was due fifty ago years ago, but you know it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I remember in like seventh grade. No, it was 8th grade, 8th grade. We had a unit about natural disasters. And I live in Washington State. That's where Mount Rainier is, right? Um, Pacific Northwest. And, like, the unit was natural disasters. So we were talking about, like, earthquakes and lahars. And, like, blizzards and shit. And, like, <laughs> my teacher played a video. Like, it was a really crappy, like, educational video. But, like, the VFX were actually kind of good. And it showed, like real life like film of like towns that were like we knew but like the lahar like sludge going through it and like i went home and i cried that day because it's like just imagining like basically your world ending <laughs> but, like everyone was spooked everyone was spooked after that lesson It's funny, like, the question people ask, like, oh, what would you grab if there was a fire? Like, I'd probably grab my laptop, like, to VH. Because, like, most other stuff you can replace, like, clothes. Or, like, people say, oh, I want to grab my a photo book. But no shot, you're not going to grab that, like, legit. You're not going to grab that. Because, like... There's so much, like, information on my laptop. Like, it has all my school projects. Like, all the software that I paid for. And just the laptop itself was expensive. And, like, I have, like, all my old art that I've made over the years, like, scanned and saved on the desktop. I was like, I don't want to lose that. It's just about, like... Everything else is replaceable, in my opinion. Because, like, when we did have that evacuation notice, like, I was out of town for, like, a day and a half, basically. And it was a weekend. And I e emailed my professor, be like, hey, you know, this is what's going on. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do my assignments, because, you know... I don't have my laptop, and that was on Saturday morning, I emailed them, and they didn't get back to me Monday, but thankfully I was back home, like, midday Sunday, so, like, it was fine, it was fine, like, I, I like, I rushed to get my homework done, but, um, it's, like, I would have failed, like, that week's worth of assignments, so, like, I would have failed, like, 25% of the grade, and it sucked, because it's, like, what if I wasn't able to go back, like, would have failed the class. Like, that's another two grand if you fail the class, right? And the teacher was like, oh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, like, I didn't get back to you in time. It's like, no, it's fine. Like, I totally didn't stress for, like, a day and a half. It's fine. Oh, frick. Um... Uh, fire 
quartz. Ah, I don't know which is better. We're gonna toss the... You can always get more slime. Or algae. I don't think anything uses the fire quartz for crafting. Oh, it's 9.40. <laughs> I lost track of time. Oh, no. Having too much fun fishing. Let's make a few more iron bars. We can sell the rest. Two more days till fall. Oh, we got eight grand. Nice. A fat stack. And I still gotta worry about these anymore. We got twenty-one thousand. I kind of want to set up my sprinklers now. Totally botched this setup before. Oh, the wrong spot, wrong spot. Here we go. spot again. I usually like map it out with the hoe. I don't feel like doing that today.
Okay, so I probably need like six more. Okay, so we got that all across there. <clears throat> Maybe I want to put some more down here. Or maybe like... Mm. Orchards would look, definitely look nice here. Like, I kind of want to put crops all along down here. But then it wouldn't look nice and straight. <laughs> it wouldn't look nice. Yeah, maybe like... I can probably do two rows down. Then it'll have one path. And you can put like honeycomb all the way down. <clears throat> I usually don't do the iridium sprinklers. One, because like I think it's a waste of resources. Like I'd honestly just use hella of these sprinklers instead. And have honeycomb all along there. And on to fishing. Now let's see how much the backpack upgrade is. I want to make sure I have at least 10 grand for seeds. Because the next upgrade is either 10 or like 25k. I should write this down. It's only 10k. Yeah, let's do it. And carry even more fish. The wrong one. Oh. Go ocean fishing so we don't have any bait. these missions unlock it's either year two or when you reach like a certain like not friendship level friendship but like certain town reputation I guess oh Willie's not here Rick that's bullshit <clears throat> Says he's open every day. I think it's unfair that people can have a day off. It's not Sigma grind set. Every day is a hustle. <laughs> had my own like shop or business I legit would be there every day mainly cuz like I don't trust other people to do a good job it's CVH it's like I know me like, if it feels like a salesperson or something mm -hmm. like I'd be doing everything in my power to like make every penny 
Like when I was at the food job, like I would I would do like hella unnecessary up sales, ones that weren't even required. Cause like the way I didn't get any bonuses or anything, so I had no like monetary incentive. But it's just like I saw it as practice for if I ever do like a sales job, you know. Perfect. Perfect. There's actually- oh, I can't pause right now. Because I know on the map it tells you, like, open most days. But does it say for Willy that Daisy's open? He open 9 to 5, and then if a person is closed, it'll say most days. So why does it not say most days on the fucking Willy? He should not have Saturdays off. I don't care if he has kids. I need my bait. <laughs> Nice, another purple fish. I've always wanted to try purple fish. Like, when I went to Japan, I really wanted to try it. But, like, my mom is allergic to seafood. So it's, like, bummer. Like, we can only really have seafood when she's not home. Because, like, she also hates the smell. Like, I'm not allowed to, like, even cook fish. Which sucks, because I love fish. <clears throat> like, Hassan has chicken tendies every day. I would love to have, like, tilapia every day. That can be my thing. Oh, what's that? I've never seen that. That green guy bottom right? I've never seen that. Like, legit. I'll have to look that up later. I'll... I've never seen that Easter egg. Maybe it's Willy? Maybe Willy dives on his day off? Hmm. Because I know some of the lore... But not all the lore. I only really look at the wiki when I get stumped stumped.
I love how this game is just forest sounds. So nice. Because I usually don't play games with headsets because I really don't like the kind that goes over your head. <clears throat> I feel like I got a fat ass head. Big brain. Um, but like someone told me last week to try playing Odyssey with like headsets. So I have like little earbuds in now. And can't go back. Really nice. My sister is convinced she can start like a YouTube or a streaming channel with um, no cam, no mic. <laughs> and it's like, I always tease her about it because, like, no shot. Like, unless you're like a speedrunner, then maybe. Because then people would watch for like the epic gameplay. But, like, if you're just a pleb like me who's not good at games. Like, who's really gonna watch No Mic, No Gam? <laughs> I mean, she's kind of good at Smash. Like, I'd say she's, like, a solid B tier. Like, I bet if she, like, actually, like, started playing again, she could maybe not compete, mind you. No way. Because she, in her high school, when she was in high school, like, she was, she would bring her Switch to and play during lunchtime with her other nerd friends. Like, she was kind of good. I, I would play Smash. Like, I really wanted to play the Nickelodeon um, All-Star All -Star Brawl, I think it's called. But, like, I'm not good at it. Like, I watched Ludwig's tournament that he hosted. That Connor eats pants one. Let's go. <clears throat> but um, like I watched all of it. Like I sat down and like watched it, watched it. But I still couldn't like understand like combos and shit. Like I I just can't I can't comprehend it. Like, the only reason why, like, I play RPGs mainly, like, on stream and, like, in personal time is because, like, my brain can't, like, process commands, like, quick enough, I guess. But, like, I suck ass at rhythm games. Like, I'm not good. Because, like, even now, like, I sometimes forget which button is, like, the A button. <laughs> which, which is bad. Um... Like, the bamboo challenges in Ghost of Tsushima. Like, those ones are kind of simple, because you're just inputting, like, certain buttons, like, triangle, triangle, square, square, circle. Stuff like that, like, really simple. But those were, like, really challenging for me. Okay, we can go home now. It's 9.20. Losing track of time again. I think I'll do one more day, that way we can end out the seasoning, the season, and then call it a day there. It's nice because each day in game is about 20 minutes. They can do like a week in about two hours.
Oh yeah, I haven't caught in any puffer fish yet. Nice. I need coal. So ready for tomorrow. They're probably just going to focus on more fishing. And then next week we can start on all day one. The craziness. First day of the season. It's always like the best part of the game in my opinion because you gotta like rush to get everything done on time. Moonlight jellies. Love that. I've never gotten stung by jellyfish. Fun fact. I've touched one, <laughs> but I haven't gotten stung. My favorite exhibits in zoos were always like the aquarium. Or like my all time favorite, if anyone is near Washington, the Woodland Park Zoo used to have a butterfly. Um, like it was basically a greenhouse and they'd have like one section where it'd show like the chrysalises and caterpillars and then the part where you walk around in is just like a large greenhouse with flowers and like all the butterflies were like loose. So you could buy like little sticks with like honey on it and they'd land on the stick. <clears throat> but that was like my all time favorite exhibit when I was little. And then they discontinued it and then it reopened like two, three years ago. But I haven't had a chance to go back because that exhibit. Oh fuck, it's the festival! Can't get more stupid bait. Anyway. Like, I think it's only open during either spring and summer or just summer. Because I, I wanted to go to the zoo this year. Because that's when it, like, finally opened back up. But, like, I was like, I'm only going to go if the butterflies are there. But when I checked the website, like, it had literally just closed. And I was like, fuck. Because <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to expose myself unless it's something I really want to do. But next year, next year, we'll go see the butterflies. I'm actually gonna go check how much the gold pickaxe costs because I always forget how much the cost is. It's either 10 grand or like 15 grand. Because I don't want to buy my seeds tomorrow and then find out I don't have enough money for the stupid pickaxe. Like I said, I should just write everything down. Okay, it's only 10k. It's only 10k. 
I was correct. Why does she stand here? I also know that like Sebastian hangs out around there. Kinda sus. It's like supposedly like Sebastian and Blondie are like kids or like teenagers. And like Penny's the school teacher, right? But during the flower dance she dances with the Blondie. And it's like, uh oh. <laughs> That doesn't seem right. I mean, it's a small town. I assume a lot of things go... Like, under the radar. Granted, this is all in a video game. This is all in a video game, mind you. This is not real life. I think I caught my first Dorado here in my personal save. <clears throat> I've only caught one legendary fish. Like my whole time playing all like in all the several hundred hours I've only caught one legendary. Mainly cuz like mechanic is so difficult. Another perfecto. I need to speak Spanish more. Like, I learned it in school. I got a four on the AP exam. Let's go. Um, but I only know, like, what they taught me in school. And it's so funny, because, like, when I worked at the food place, because, like, I'm Asian and Hispanic, so, like, all the <laughs> auto Filipino people would, like, talk to me in Tagalog. And I'm like, I don't understand. And then, like, all the Hispanic people would start speaking Spanish with me, and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so funny. Mind you, I'm American. Asian, Hispanic, American. Like, I think I'm third generation. Yeah, third generation. Because, like, my great grandma immigrated from Japan.
Frick! I wanted the reason why I'm like thinking for a second is like I was gonna like make a joke but then it's like <clears throat> I was thinking about like all the Dave Chappelle shit and basically the takeaway from that situation is jokes come from a place of understanding and like empathy so like it's fine for him to have a set commentating about like black culture because he himself lived and experienced that but it's not okay for him to like commentate or like joke about um, trans issues, which he criticized mainly, um, because he himself does not identify that way, and then um, does not understand that experience. Right? Um, I, I was gonna make an Asian joke. That's what I was gonna make. That's what I was gonna do. But then it's like. <clears throat> I think there's a line between, like, normalizing those type of comments and then, like, knowing when to make those jokes. I think a really interesting example was when um, Andrew Yang ran, ran for president in 2020. Like, one of his, like, kind of bitsy slogans was, like, I like math or some shit like that. Which is, like, funny, right? Because, like, haha, Asian good at math, right? Funny joke. But I think to run with that type of, like, slogan... <sighs> it's, like, making light of, like, those type of, like, prejudice jokes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's what I'm, like... Because I want to word it in a way that, like, does it come off too, like... Ooh, perf perfect though. Um, not edgy, why would I say edgy? But like... Too confrontational about it. It's like freedom of speech and all, but also like... You need to be mindful of like people's... Like feelings, right? Stardew Valley just gets me thinking, okay? Like, there's always some type of, like, commentary or, like, political, like, rant. <laughs> not not rant, but, like, musings I go off when I play the game. Because I think, like, comedy's interesting. Like, I would love like take an improv class or learn the art of comedy because I know my I myself I really like edgy humor I think it's funny mm -hmm. which people find surprising because I'm usually like a very like quiet keep to myself type of person I also really appreciate puns mainly because like they're clever and I think, like, puns and stuff are interesting because, like, there's some that pertain to your language. That, like, when it gets translated, it doesn't make sense. Like, I think that is really cool. I 
gone to a couple like open mics and I think what a lot of people don't realize is that there's a very like trend of like commentary or like storytelling and a few people performing don't understand that you also have to like combine like inflection, the timing in which you speak, like the pacing. Like if you just tell a story, that's cool. But like you need to add those elements to like make it actually like entertaining. Like the way I see it, my mom, she works in a preschool kindergarten class right now. So she's watching like all these videos with like preschool teachers, like tips and tricks on what to do or like how to do story time. And I was basically like, you know, the preschool teachers, they're probably just like drama kids, you know. But I'm on a show every day. Because like they're usually like so animated. And they're usually like on all the time, right? Because when kids are younger, they're a lot more keen on like reading social cues. Okay, it's nine o'clock time to go home. Let's see, so we'll probably have like a solid 20 grand by the end of the day. We'll have ample for seeds and then probably enough for the pickaxe tomorrow. I also kind of want to end because I usually don't wear sweatshirts, but like I really like this one, but it's like way too hot in my room right now. Mainly because like I have a light on, but you know. What if I just skip the Moonlight Jelly Dance? I don't think it does anything. Like, you don't get any item. Like, Loki is kind of mid. I kind of want to just like make sure I got all my sprinklers set up. I don't care about no jelly dance. I wish I had beehive set up by now. Like, I regret not setting up tappers sooner. An ample amount of plots set up. Oh, I just realized I needed. I used all my fucking gold bars. Now I can't upgrade my stupid tool. I'm so fucking stupid. Oh my god. Okay, we, we don't- we don't need the pickaxe now. That's a- oh, I can't- I can't believe it. I- Not paying attention. It's whatever, it's fine, it's fine. I should not get tilted at this. Q. 
Yeah, let's go to the stupid dance. Maybe that'll cheer me up. Uh, I was... I usually, like, in my personal save, I have a chest that I set aside just for resources that I'm saving. Like, i.e. if I'm trying to upgrade something or if I need to, like, save it for a mission. That way I don't touch that chest. I keep it in a corner. But I haven't done that for this save because, like, I'm not really working on the comp center right now. Really annoying. Where's Leo? Even here? Oh, there is a shop here. I never knew there was a shop here. Oh, it's all shit. I don't want any of this. <laughs> I I never thought to look over here. I legit never knew there was a shop. I, I always thought to myself, I was like, why is there not a shop for this event? That's weird. So, so much today. Ooh. Bridge is fixed. <gasps> There's Leia. We love her. Good evening. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw them glowing in the distance. Once you launch the candle boat, the clump they'll come up to the docks and say hello. <clears throat> what do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yeah, let's go. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on for the great unknown. I never really understood what the jelly or what they represent. I was like, I'm just thinking of like lit devices. We didn't learn about no jellies. Okay, so for tomorrow, I'll need my hoe. I'll need fertilizer. Go ahead and make some more while we're here. <clears throat> Maybe I usually don't make the advanced fertilizers because I'm like, I don't want to waste fish on that. As you know, I don't like wasting resources. Okay. 
That should be ample amount. A major scythe. A. I'm saying E, like in Spanish, E means and. E. Uh. I think that's all we'll need. Why am I putting this back? Ugh. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't have any more ores. Let's actually just make more quartz while we're here. So, once we get our farm set up, we'll have to focus on mining, then we can get more stupid gold. I, I still can't believe I did that. I still- I literally can't. Frustrating. It's okay. New season, it's fine. It'll be fine. Only 2k? Oh, shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause it here. Ooh. Oh, stretch. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it here. Um, thank you to anyone who came in. I appreciate any lurkers. Um, I will be back on monday 11 a.m continuing off with our odyssey run i think probably gonna roam around more of the wooded kingdom hopefully head off to a new kingdom soon there <clears throat> we're like literally a day and a half <laughs> into that speed run um but yeah i hope y'all enjoy your weekend be safe don't do drugs hey guys have a good one bye